I'm telling y'all, scooters are the way to get around here, here in Stockholm. America, why don't we have bike lanes like Sweden? Like, they have bike lanes where there's literally bike lights that stop you. There's literally bike lanes, full on bike lanes with bike lights here in Stockholm. That's crazy. Like, that right there is a bike lane for going this way. And this is for the right. From crossing the street. Actual bike lanes that just aren't spray painted on the road. Okay, so anyways, let me stop rambling on. So today we're here, Stockholm, day two, and we're going to the Nordic Museum to see cultural history from Sweden from the early to the modern side. So I don't know what to expect, but that's the best part of travel. Wait, is that a pipe? Is that, is that what they would use to smoke tobacco here in Sweden? I don't know, and I feel like every time I'm looking at silverware China, they always include a pipe. Like what? Okay, hold on, what is that? If you're from Sweden, and if you were, you know, born in the 1500s, please comment down below if somehow you survived. Wow, so she was accused of being a witch. I guess this kid is one of the, the pointers to represent. Okay, wow, so now we're in the Nordic part of this museum where they have little boats, canoes, and just, I guess, tools to help you be here in the Arctic Circle, be here in the Scandinavian region. Like, look at this. Traveling over snow and ice. This is this was built like a boat with a nail stem frame and boards. It glides easily on snow and does not catch bushy terrain. Wow. Oh, I guess that's this. That's this. <laughs> Coffee, vodka, bread, and fish. That's the end of the video, y'all. Just, I like how they, they worry about everything they need at the end. They're like, we gotta have vodka. We must have vodka. So we are here in the Vasa Museum, which houses the oldest and the most fully intact ship from the 17th century. Sadly though, this ship sank in the harbor here in Stockholm, Sweden in 1628, and they actually discovered it centuries later in 1961, around that time. And when you're coming to look at the ship, some of the things that you can truly notice is that Anything that was added, anything that's new and added to the ship is in light brown color. I mean, you can tell that it's very new. You can tell the difference between what's old and what's new. I'm here in Wisconsin, and this is the, one of the oldest open air museums in the world. I don't know if it is the oldest, but we're going to a bakery right now. And we're gonna try some sweetest uh, snacks. Um, what should I get? Oh, my personal favorites is the cardamom bun, and then also this blueberry vanilla and lemon curd bun. Very good. Yeah, they sound. They look so beautiful. Did you make these? No, oh. I'm not that talented. But they, w they're like tiny artworks. They're beautiful. They are very beautiful. Okay, I guess I'll take one of those, and then this blueberry one you said, please. I really want to be fat and try everything, but oh, what, what's this right here? Oh, that's actually my third favorite. Uh, it's almost like a pie crust with like an almond paste on the inside. Okay. Then should be glazed on top. Okay, I'll take that too. Do you want to be on the video too, by the way? Oh yeah, sure, no problem. So, what's your favorite thing about this uh, place? About Skansen? Yeah. Uh, I would say it's such a beautiful environment, especially to work in. And uh, for example, this house is from the 1700s. This one you're working in right now? Yeah, so uh, a lot of stuff that you're seeing here is like historical. It's an actual interactive museum. You mm -hmm. can walk inside stuff and see it for yourself instead of just sitting behind the glass. I can't believe I just <laughs> bought bread out of this building. It even has a pretzel shaped. Wow. Okay, so with the recommendations of the baker, I guess. Well, the woman working there. We're gonna try this blueberry. Just look at how beautiful this is. Okay, this is a really good accent.
Look at that blueberry. She was right. But it looks very beautiful. Just artisan, honestly, artisan bread. Just wrapped perfectly. Tastes kind of like a cinnamon roll. Very sweet and like fluorescent. And then this is the last thing I got there. That's what I like about traveling. You never know what you're trying or what you're getting. You're just, I'll take that or what do you recommend? Oh, kind of like a cake. It was okay. Said it was our third favorite. And then I got this. I love apple, anything with apple in it. So don't know, oh, it has bubbles. Okay, Americans, I don't know why we don't have bottled sparkling apple juice, but it is literally amazing. We need this stuff there. Okay, let's go. Let's go explore the rest of the village. Just met a great Swedish woman in there. She was telling us about the history of this place and how everything here on this farmland, they had to make themselves all the tools, all the different things. And she had a real fireplace in there. Well, of course it's real Davion, but the fireplace was being used. And that's what I like about this open air museum. So these royal pal this royal palace looks just like a lot of the other royal palaces, a lot of gold, a lot of gold trim, a lot of paintings, nice fireplaces. But yeah, I get here at 10 a.m. There's not that many people here. You get the chance to walk around where there's not a lot of people. Okay, my favorite royal rooms are the ones where there's just like velvet covering the walls. Like, look at this. Really does feel like a fairy tale whenever you realize that there were actually kings and queens back in the day. And Sweden does still have a monarchy. It's a constitutional monarchy though. Look at this chandelier, how massive it is. And there is one, two, three chandeliers in here. And then the ceiling with the gold trim and these huge tall mirrors. Like who's even that tall to need a mirror that tall? Painting is from 1830. Just look at that throne. And of course the ceiling, because they love putting things on ceilings. That is the king currently of Sweden. Interesting enough, the king and the queen still do live in this palace, so you can't go everywhere. It's, it's very small in terms of what you can actually see here, but it's still beautiful for being able to see a, a king's real royal palace. Okay, now this room. Okay, now this room, this room is stunning. What, what is this room? The council chamber of the royal family dining in the reign of Gustav Simpson one. So this room was used as a dining room. And let me tell y'all, it, it is stunning. Apparently also this place was modeled after the Palace of Versailles Hall of Mares. And you can tell just by looking at it, it's stunning. People that protect the royal family here in Sweden have been protecting the royal family since 1523. And we're gonna go see the changing of the royal guard, which happens around 12, 15 p.m. And this is where the military units are switching out. So it's about 30 minutes. We're gonna get there early though, about 35 minutes to see what, what is it really about.